When we are feeling low in mood, we can often experience negative thoughts. These thoughts will affect how we feel, which in turn will affect how we behave. For example, a person who thinks, I'm a failure, may feel demotivated and down. They may feel physically lethargic and tired and may behave in a way that avoids or isolates themselves from others. These unhelpful thoughts may be about yourself. They may be about the world in which you live, others around you or about your future. Having such unhelpful thoughts may lead to you getting stuck into what we call thought distortions or patterns of unhelpful thinking. Some of the most common thought distortions are catastrophizing, jumping to conclusions, black and white thinking. Can you relate to any of these? Use the handout thought distortions to help you. When stuck in such patterns of unhelpful thinking, it can be difficult to think rationally. However, there are techniques that we can use that can help with this and help us break that cycle. Be aware of what you are telling yourself. Ask yourself, what is it about this situation that is upsetting me? Look for evidence. Why do you think it's true? Search for evidence against the thought. Look for an alternative explanation. How can you turn the negative into a positive? Or is there a more helpful thought? A good technique to help with this could be asking yourself, how would someone else think if they were in this situation? Challenging such thoughts is not easy and therefore using tools can help. One tool that you may find useful is a thought diary. I'm now going to talk you through how to complete your very own thought diary. So to begin with, we need to look at the situation causing distress. So in this circumstance, this person was walking down the street, a couple passed them and they began to laugh. So after we've identified the situation, we then look at our associated feelings and behaviour. This person was feeling self-conscious and upset and because of this, they wanted to avoid the situation. The second thing we look at is thoughts about the event and these are your initial automatic thoughts. For this person, it was, they must be laughing at me and they can tell I'm anxious. So then we look at the thought pattern or the thought distortion associated with that. And again, for this person, they identified that they was personalising the situation. So following this, we look at if there was any underlying beliefs. And this person thought they knew something bad was going to happen. What we then do is try to challenge or look for an alternative or more positive thought, which is this section here. And this is about looking for evidence. Evidence against it and evidence for it. So asking, how do I know they were laughing at me? And they weren't looking in my direction. So why would they be laughing at me? The final and most important section is the new feelings and the action. So this person is now feeling more confident. They're less upset. And even better, they're now going to re-attempt their outing again.